at some level it can get personal. It can get disrespectful. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, I've had difficulty with that sometimes, you know, because they might say something that's completely out of left field that, uh, you know, wouldn't be appropriate for really any conversation. Um, so I think that, you know, having that, that first of all, that mindset that, you know, I'm just entering into an arena um, and I'm not me, you know, I'm, I'm like my game face, my game face is on. And so I can expect that a little bit. Um, but again, it doesn't mean that we're not impacted. So I would, I would say that, you know, first of all, just try not to swear back to your point. It's definitely a, a, a good starter. Um, I think something that you can do is uh, there, there is a way to sometimes some of that is, is the salesperson stigma. So some of it to them is really just a fear, uh, a reaction to a salesperson. And if you can sidestep and say, you know, I mean, if they call you a name or something like that, you can kind of sidestep and, and hey, you can even say, hey, I'm sorry, that was disrespectful. I'm actually here just to talk about to see if you have a lead gen partner right now. And sometimes they'll come back with it if you stick with it because you haven't left the phone call, right? And they're the one that kind of has pie on their face because you just took it and it didn't scare you off. Um, mm -hmm. So I think that is a little probably more of an advanced skill because it does take some character to be able to withstand a punch like that and not kind of hang up yourself. Right. Um, if, if you if you can withstand that or if you can't withstand it, then hang up like I don't think you need to be disrespected by somebody who is calling names or something like that. And they're probably not going to be a good partner for you to work with. Right. Yeah. It's not really someone that we want to do business with, because imagine if they're talking to us like that now, what is it going to be like when they are a customer? 